in our Motion Pro suspension vise, we have a 2005 GSX-R1000 fork. Now this fork is very representative from 2003 through 2008. So what we go through here will apply to all of those years. So what we're going to do with this particular fork is a full teardown fork oil seal replacement, fresh oil, and reset the fork oil level. Now to get started, we need to know where our preload adjuster is, and we need to know where our rebound adjuster is. And to do that, we're going to use a Sharpie and write it on the fork. Now the preload adjuster on the cap is red and it also has machined grooves in it. So we need to count the number of grooves starting at the very top and work our way down. One, two, three, four, five, and it's five and a half. So preload is 5.5. Now we need to see where the rebound adjuster is. So we're gonna use a flat blade screwdriver and count the number of clicks clockwise until it stops. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So we're at six clicks. Now we need to find the total range of adjustment that we have. So we're going to go counterclockwise, counting the number of clicks until it stops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So for rebound, we're gonna write six slash 17 so we know exactly where we were 6 slash 17 6 being the correct adjustment point 17 being the total range now we need to back off the preload adjuster all the way out counterclockwise using a 14 millimeter wrench the preload adjuster doesn't move so we're at maximum soft it'll come back in but it won't go any further so our preload setting is essentially zero now we need to go ahead and unscrew the fork cap from the outer tube. You'll actually hear the threads disengage and at that point grab the foot and make sure the cap is free from the outer tube. Now we're ready to go ahead and pour the oil out of the fork into our sink. Now the sink is manufactured. It drains into a five gallon oil bucket. We go and recycle the oil responsibly as we should. So please responsibly recycle the oil out of your forks. Don't just chuck it down a sink. We don't want phone calls or emails in regards to that. What you want to do with the sink is pour out as much of the oil as you can get out of the fork without having to pump the fork and empty the cartridge. So we're getting rid of the bulk of the oil out of the fork, which makes the disassembly a lot easier and a lot, a lot less oil to go all over the place. Now we need to position the fork in the Motion Pro vise correctly with the outer tube bottom and the fork sitting up on the slab here. Now we need to use the fork spring compressor to take our preload spacer, compress it down to expose the jam nut to get the cap and the jam nut apart and ultimately remove the fork cap. Now this is the fork spring compressor that we made, but you can buy these in many different shapes and forms. The important part is that these two pins fit into these two holes to grab that. And then at the bottom of the compressor, we have a pin that goes through the axle hole in the foot of the fork itself. So let's locate the top. Now we need to go ahead and compress the spring. We can use a ratchet, a wrench, or I'm lazy, power tools. Makes it much easier. Now we need to pull the fork cap out of the preload spacer and sit it up on top of the metal washer. Now we need a 17 millimeter wrench for the bottom nut, and I'm gonna use a crescent wrench for the cap. We're gonna turn the cap counterclockwise to break the union with the lock nut. Now we can go ahead and remove the fork cap. Next we need to remove the rebound rod, take that and put it in the sink with the cap. Push the rebound rod back inside the preload spacer. 
Now we're going to extend the fork spring compressor so we can remove the preload spacer once the tension has gone between the preload spacer and the spring. Set the fork spring compressor over to one side. Take the preload spacer and put it in the sink. Now take the spring out and put it in the sink as well.